when an avoidant abruptly ends a relationship or when they slow fade out, there are some very common lines that they will use as excuses as to justify the breakup or discard. Now keep in mind, these phrases are a reflection of the lack of self-reflection of the avoidant. Avoidance, avoid. And that includes avoiding self-reflection, avoiding painful emotions, and avoiding accountability. It goes back to childhood, emotional neglect. This is a person that wasn't given love and nurturing. So because they didn't receive the love and the nurturing as a child, they grew up to feel defective, unlovable, like there's something wrong with them. If they were to self-reflect on their behavior and take accountability, it would be confirming their own inner defectiveness to themselves. Far too painful. So here are the top three discard excuses and what they really mean. Number one, I can't give you what you need. Very common one, you probably heard this if you've broken up with an avoidant. What they mean is they cannot live up to your expectations. They believe that. It goes back to childhood. This is a person that experienced emotional neglect coupled with high expectations from their parents or caretakers. They were only given love conditionally based on achievements. They couldn't meet the expectations of their parents or their caretakers. So even the slightest expectations that you have in the relationship seem insurmountable to them. You want consistency, you want closeness, you want them to communicate. It feels overwhelming. Even the bare minimum feels like overwhelming expectations and too much pressure on them. And they feel like it's inevitable that they're going to disappoint you. So they better push you away now and protect themselves because it's inevitable that you're going to figure out that you're too good for them. You're going to reject and abandon them. So pushing you away now is what they do to protect themselves. And they truly believe that they're not good enough to give you what you need. Number two, I'm just not ready for a relationship right now. You might have heard that one. What they mean is they're not ready for a relationship that has emotional intimacy, vulnerability, expectations, or any kind of disagreement. Keep in mind, an avoidant, especially a dismissive avoidant, they have this ideal relationship in their head that they're searching for. It's one without any emotional closeness. There's no vulnerability. They don't have to open up because they've learned to associate that with abandonment. There's no expectations put on them whatsoever. They get to come and go as they please get that external validation that they crave without giving much in return. They can just give the breadcrumbs and never have to worry about living up to the expectations about a partner that expects anything from them in a relationship. And no disagreements. This is a person that had their feelings routinely dismissed as a child. If they expressed emotions, especially negative emotions, that was shot down. They were rejected, if not even reprimanded. So they learned expressing themselves leads to rejection and abandonment. So even the slightest disagreement seems insurmountable to them because subconsciously in their mind, they associate disagreement with abandonment, rejection, and all of those painful things that come along with it. Number three, I just need time and space to work on myself to heal and I can only do it alone. Translation, I'm overwhelmed. Being in this relationship makes me feel stressed because there's expectations on me. There's expected emotional vulnerability and I'm triggered, I'm afraid. And the way that I self-soothe is to avoid. So I'm gonna run from this, take space, stick my head in the sand and I'm not gonna reflect on this whatsoever and I'm absolutely not gonna do any work because that's scary. Self-reflection is scary. That means accountability. That means painful emotions. No, I'm going to distract myself and I'm going to avoid even thinking about this situation whatsoever. And a bonus one, number four. Work is just so busy right now. What they mean is they are just looking for any excuse to justify their fears and running away. They don't want to self-reflect or take accountability and work is an easy one because they do prioritize things like work over their relationships. They do this as a way to create emotional distance between themselves and their partner. That's how they feel safe. Emotional vulnerability feels unsafe. They learn this from childhood. So they look for ways to create distance. Constantly prioritizing work over their partner is a great way to do it. 
and work can be the ultimate final reason, reason that they discard a partner because they do prioritize that over their relationship. But it's a way that they keep themselves safe. Ultimately, when an avoidant has their fears triggered, they look for external things to blame their fears on and to pinpoint their behavior on. That way they don't have to take accountability, they don't have to self-reflect, they continue to avoid and stick their head in the sand. It's how they learn to not only make themselves feel safe, but to self-soothe. Yes, they need external validation. That's why they jump into relationships. But when their fears are triggered, they don't want to go there and they don't want to reflect on what their role is. So these excuses are perfect ways for them to blame their behaviors on other things without looking within.